hello guys today we are creating one video for the golem so in this video we will build a simple rest api in go using the gene web framework ok so all this program i am doing in visual studio code for this i am creating one folder name rest api gene inside this folder I am going to create one main.go file so in this program what we are going to create we will create a rest api having a three type one is to, to get the data get multiple data list of data second one is get a data by, by id and add a, a single data ok so here we are going to take one example of array of book book is nothing but one sample json data where we will have a particular parameter properties name ok so let's start as you all know go program always start with the package so here in first line I, I just added a package name main ok after that um, the second step is to create a every every go program start with a package ok the main package tells go that this is the entry point the car the code that should run first ok second one we are going to create one main entry point method main entry point method how to create by using a func method by using a funky word main and this way this is my entry here I am going to create one route uh, one variable name router to create this variable I am using a gene as we already know this complete program is based on the gin framework so gin i am using uh, gin i am using to create a router okay so see uh, here you are saying uh, uh, some uh, red error mark so what we have to do here so to resolve this we have to so uh, add uh, one package here so how to add a package first of all we have to add a mod and go.mod and go.sum file in our package how to add that go.mod and go.sum file here go mod in it and our project name project name is rest api ok so go.mod in it so in this way if you are seeing here go.mod has been added now what i'll do i'm i'm trying to add a gin package here how to add this this is my github url to get that to go get and then github url so that i can add this one in my project so go.sum has been created ok now to resolve this error what i'll do import directly also you can get it or uh, either this one you can copy it down ok now you can see error gone ok now the next step is to next step is to create our api ok how to create api in gene framework basically we have to uh, 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 inform our um, server that we are going to create some api which is based on methods kind of get post ok so uh, we are going to create here three apis which is um, which is method name is get post and uh, get post ok so first one is get here first parameter is our api name api name is uh, as i already told you we are going to take a example of book so book is my first api name to get all the books first api name is get all books okay same way i'm 
going to add another API get to get a single okay to get a single book um, book is my API name and here I'm going to pass a parameter okay so how to pass a parameter by adding a slash and ID okay this way and <coughs> then my API name is get book this is my second API third API is post API where through that I can add a particular book into the existing array okay so how I can add it by using one API name add are the three API which I'm going to create here and then I have to run my server how to run the server router dot run and here local host any port 8866 I just given 8866 so my main is completed now what I have to do here get all books get books post book okay so to mm, get the, to complete this api we have to take the example of our json data how to create a json data in uh, go is we will see first okay so first of all we will create one struct of type book here we'll add some property id is my first property type is string okay so this is my first property where I added one property name is ID type of string and this is the JSON ID why I used the JSON tag is here make sure to make sure data converts correctly when sent a JSON in API response whenever I'm calling this API so um, in the response I should get the correct JSON for that I added this JSON here so let's add another uh, remaining IDs remaining properties name type string of time float this title type string tag json title author structure is completed with some properties okay now what we'll do so next step is to add uh, this some predefined data in our uh, uh, for our API to get the response okay how to add we'll create one variable having type books where we're going to create slice or array of books book is this now here one by one I'm creating object first one is ID ID is one second one is name of book price author 
this way I hide it. So yeah, sorry. Here the type is flop so we don't need this. And let's add some remaining folk. Uh, I'm going to add second and third three book. Book name is two, book name is three. Value is fifty. 58 okay author 3 author 2 2 3 okay now this way i already created some predefined book record and my db okay this consider this as my db now we are going to implement our api i mean how to create a api first one is get all books here you know, to create an API use a font keyword same get all books to get a book I need a uh, my context so how from where I can get the context from same gene framework okay gene dot context now to return all the book here we don't need to do anything any logic or something we just need to return all the predefined book so how to return c dot indentation here with status http http dot status okay status okay and all the books all the books means my variable itself books that's it so why i can uh, return a status here is because intent and json is expecting a status of code kind of 404 202 200 kind of so that's why i can uh, i return a status here http dot status okay so here again one warning we are getting get all book pass log by value so what it is showing here we have to pass by reference here is instead of that value okay so we add it pointer here so first api is done let's go for the second api get book okay same way c pointer j context so here what we have to do first we already have a parameter here okay so to get the parameter what we have to do here one variable we have to create id where we are going to assign a parameter which is passed by our passed from our rest api so how to get that param this way okay now what is the parameter name id okay this way we got the id now we have to write down a logic because this id only this id book only we have to return so how to write down that logic we just need to write down a for loop command here so here for loop will have uh, will run on the uh, variable books where it will iterate one by one books from one by one book from the books array or slice okay now what we have to do if condition this book this book is this book is nothing but object of this one single okay book dot I have what I have to select I have to compare this ID with my this ID okay how to book dot id equals to equals to id then i got the book and i just need to return same indented json http status okay status found sorry http status found and my book and from here i don't need to do anything so i'm returning the data i'm written completely if after completing this for loop, if I did not find anything, then what I have to do? Indented 
json http status status not found not found and here we have to send one message to the client how to send a message gin dot h gin dot h what it will do it will send a message particular properly for well organized for message to the client so here key value pair we have to use message what will be the message message is book not form okay this is my second api completed now let's go for the post api same from keyword post book and here gene same way so here what we have to do we have to first accept our data which we are going to pass from the post book rest api okay for that we have to create one um, variable new book okay of type book okay now what we have to do this same coming data we have to bind okay so to bind that data with the existing uh, existing book how to we use bind json bind json is my one function which is going to bind a new book with my existing books okay so new book i bind it and here this is here it will just bind nothing nothing else after binding i, I have, have to append, append new book, book to the existing, existing book how, how to append, append that one yes books books is my variable and here i am going to use append books and new book okay once uh, binding is done i just need to return a um, whole array again using it data this http status created which which book we create new book okay so we done with all the three api and our complete main function this is done now what we have to do we have to run our program so how to run the program here in go go run main dot go so main dot go is not uh, outside we have to go inside rest api main dot go okay our program has been run now we have to check localhost 886 whether it